So today we're reviewing Alien. Yeah, so Alien is a movie from 1979 starring Sigourney Weaver. And this is a movie that we decided to talk about in the Halloween series because it's it's a monster killing everyone, you know. That's that's really the premise of the movie. You got the xenomorph going around killing it's a monster movie, so it's definitely a horror movie. There's like there's a lot of killing going on and it is a monster movie, so that's why we decided to save it for the Halloween series. But what are your overall thoughts on the movie Alien? I mean, it's obviously a very classic film that was made, what was 1970? 1979. Um, <clears throat> 1979. Uh, it really, once again, was just a very good... I mean, you really don't even... The way that, the way that it's made, it really is like a horror, just space horror movie, which if you think about it, there's, there's really not that many space horror movies, really, in, in general. Like, there's more yeah. recently, but especially when this movie came out, this is probably like the only space movie, uh, as far as like a horror space movie goes. I think it was a great film, a uh, great storyline, and... There's some great scenes in this movie that I can think of off the top of my head, and it's like a, a great performance, and it was definitely a pretty good film, and uh, yeah, it definitely is a great great movie to watch around this time of year, and it's, it's crazy to see how, how it holds up today, even when it was yeah. made in 1979. Yeah, now this Alien and Aliens, we were uh, debating whether we should review Alien or Aliens, because I honestly think they're both really good. They're both great movies, in my opinion. But yeah, this is a great claustrophobic kind of movie because they're in a ship. And I kind of, I, I'm i thinking they don't really give too much information on where this ship is going, where it's coming from. I know they are expected to come back to Earth in, what, eight months, I think. So, and they get this alien on board. And basically, <laughs> the actual xenomorph looks awesome. But this is definitely a creepy, good, scary movie. There are some great scares. And I love the design of the monster. It's just, it's a great movie and definitely a, it's a great horror movie and great halloween movie because the monster going around taking everyone out and it definitely is a great movie to watch around halloween but i guess uh you want to go into specific positives i mean just as far as a horror film goes there's some really just horrifying situations in this film that you really get to see that was, it was once again it was really original the, fir the first time that, that the first time that this came out i'm no. not sure if this if anything like this, like i'm not sure if anything like this has came up before but just the whole aspect of the alien how it was just like it came from this like hand thing that like hugs your face, yeah, and face the more right. that you really have seen more about it, obviously we know more about it now after seeing it in multiple movies. Movies after it, so like, we know what it actually was. But this time, you just see this weird thing. You don't really know what's going on. Then uh, all of a sudden, like you have the chest bursting scene, you which is one fine. of the classic scenes, and then this is a disgusting scene. But it really is a great horror scene. Never wants to make and you then, spaghetti ever again. Yeah, and then yeah, it really, really does. I, I've really not liked spaghetti since this. I mean, I, I've never really liked spaghetti. But thinking about this makes me dislike it even more. And then obviously, like, it's this little thing and it evolves really quick. You mentioned the design of the aliens is amazing. And there's some great scenes involving just just the way that the alien kind of, like, stalks each single person on this spaceship till there's just yeah. one left. And it just really is a great film. And I'll save my favorite scene specifically for a later part. But, yeah, yeah I think it was, I actually already mentioned some, some, like, very, like, very just good horror scenes like the chest bursting scene and also like design of the alien and the process of the alien it wasn't just a it wasn't just a, it was not just a simple alien it just like latched onto the ship like it, yeah. it formed out of something else and Creative. it's a really just really cool storyline to get to the point of an alien yeah it definitely is interesting uh the fact that the face hugger the face huggers are terrifying i mean talk about i think they're more terrifying in the second one i think they're focusing on a little bit more there's more of them those are absolutely terrifying things. And then the fact, yeah, it gets the first guy, the disturbing scene of him bursting out of his chest, which is hard to watch. <laughs> and it really is hard to watch. And then, obviously, when the xenomorph is actually going around the ship, is great scenes there. Everyone is freaking out and trying to figure out what to do. The ship is so big, but they really are in the middle of nowhere. They're in the middle of space. So there's nothing you can do to avoid it. And while the aliens end up being... They, it, it's definitely a much bigger threat in this movie versus the second one. But there is a great scene like when the one guy, I forget his name, is in the uh, corridors trying to find out where the alien is. And you see the dot moving towards him. And the one girl is like freaking out, telling him to go up or down. And he thinks it's coming on his level, but he goes actually down. And then the alien's right there. Dallas? You're going to have to hold your position for a minute. I... Oh! No, Dallas! Wait, Dallas! Wake up! <laughs> a great scare and it always due to first of all the great that it's actually a real alien there it's not visual effects all this stuff is actually practical 
So that's something that is really good about this movie, is that the practical effects of the actual Xenomorph is fantastic. But I don't know if you want to go into a, like a favorite line or favorite scene or... I mean, I feel my favorite line would be like from a second one. I can't really think of a line from this one very well off the top of my head. I need to watch again to really say that one. But, I mean, obviously the, the, the design of the alien is really cool with the mouth coming out of the big mouth. And then my favorite scene is one you just mentioned. So that's my favorite scene is the scene with the dot and then they're trying to tell them where to go and it just how like that's really like the scariest scene in the movies it really is a jump scare but also yeah. like you do get to see the payoff of the alien as well but that's probably just the, just the aspect of like someone being inside like a small tube area when you don't really know where the alien is is uh probably just the most horrifying part of the film but yeah it's probably, i mean i really can't think of any other scenes besides that one yeah well actually i guess the there is a big storyline with the robot on board that it's uh that basically the guy you think it's a normal guy and I still honestly don't know to this point if they knew. I'm pretty sure they knew it was a robot, but he had the mission. He wanted that alien coming back to Earth. Like, that was the main goal. He wanted that alien to come back. So when that one guy got the uh, face hug around his neck, he wanted that to happen, and he wanted that alien to come out. And basically his goal was to get that alien back to Earth somehow. And you see how there's an evil guy there, and then the second one there's an evil guy. But that's definitely interesting there, and was is obviously annoying, but then he gets taken out. That's definitely an interesting aspect of this movie, though, is that robot, it makes uh, for a little conflict between the humans. It's not just all good versus this monster that makes it a little more complicated. But, uh, yeah, the, the overall alien, obviously, his mouth coming out of the other mouth is iconic. And then, like, when he's hiding on the ship later. And I think there's some good quotes as far as... I, I, I do remember better quotes from the second one versus the first one. I mean, the punchline, did you already mention the tagline of the, like, no one can hear you scream in no, space? No. So, I mean, that's, that, that's like, I remember when we, when we were in line for a ride in Disney World called The Great Movie Ride, you see the trailer for it, and just, the, like, that was the, kind of the tagline at the end, it really just gets, it really does, like, show this as a horror film, the way that they market it, and the way the movie executes as well, but, like, there's a scene when you first see the alien fully evolve when this guy's looking for a cat, there's, yeah. like, chains dangling, and there's, like, water dripping, and you kind of see yeah. uh, how the alien, usually before, it, like, it, it attacks, it has, like, I don't know, I don't know, if I say it's droll, whatever, like, acid or whatever, like, coming out of the the mouth. That's another, that's another feature of the alien that we haven't really mentioned yet, is, like, the acid really does, like, yeah. it, like, can melt through, like, steel Crazy. and, like, all that kind of stuff. See, again, but obviously, I don't know if we really mentioned Ripley, the strong female lead character that people well, yeah. forget about. She does a great performance in this film, and it really gets down to her, like you said, it's her and, uh... So they're, they're not called robots, but they're called something else. Cyborg. The, um, but obviously, this film is way better than Alien Covenant, all these other films that came out after it. I mean, in Alien Covenant, obviously, the, the special effects and features in there are better, but the overall film itself, this is a better movie. Um, and I feel like... Yeah, I guess, it, it, especially at the end, I'm pretty sure when it does just get, just get down to Ripley at the end and she's going through the corridors, it really is, like creepy in that aspect is to think about being on this ginormous ship just all alone and the sirens are going off and you don't know where this thing is it really is a great movie in that aspect is that mm. it's claustrophobic and you don't know where this alien is going through these corridors going up down the way the doors like close is all very iconic and mm. obviously this was, a lot of movies copied this movie and we've really we've, we have, we've, we've had the privilege of actually being in this film itself yeah. in a movie form where you're, where you're basically going through like the spaceship you get to see Ripley aliens in a couple different spots i mean you get, I mean, getting to do that really does make you feel more of the atmosphere in the film itself when you actually have to live it out yourself in some ways obviously it's a ride too bad it's freaking but, gone but yeah it's, it's gone now but like we have gotten to do that a few times and it's just like i think it just definitely just shows you how scary the what's the, the, the i can't really think of what it sounds like but that sound of the spaceship when it's like when they on the yeah. them, like the alarm emergencies like that that makes with like first of all you're, you're in space you really can't go anywhere and you're stuck in this ship yeah. And, I mean, they had some weapons, but this thing was outsmarting them and just t taking people out one at a time. Like, the alien, it wasn't just a stupid, it wasn't just an alien on a ship killing people. Like, there was a point to it. Like, there was uh, people, whoever created the robot, whoever, whatever his name is, yep. uh, basically wanted the alien to come back. So there's that, that storyline. I just can't even think what the, what, what they're, because they're not called robots. They're like uh, I, I will give it this an android. Uh, Thank you, Joe, for that, <laughs> that definition there. Who uh, is you do you do think that he looks suspicious throughout this movie? There's <clears throat> in this movie because there's certain points where you're kind of thinking some pretty obvious stuff, but then he's kind of a little bit leaning towards the alien, and you notice it more the second time around. In where and especially when the chest when the alien's bursting out of his chest, he's not really showing much emotion. But he is a robot though, so you won't show much emotion when you're a freaking android. It, 
this is a really good movie. This is a classic. Obviously, like you mentioned with Great Movie Ride, it just makes it that much better because I love that ride and I love this movie and being in that atmosphere. It's just, it's iconic in every way. I definitely, I definitely think this film, one thing I'll say last before I close it off really is just that this film did way better than, like, I'm, I'm compared to the most recent Alien movie, The Alien Covenant, is that in this film, they really get you attached to the group that's on this ship way better than this last movie did because this, in this last movie, there's too many, there's, first, of all, first of all, there's too many people in the movie then also, they're doing too many different love interests in the movie where, like, you don't, like, I remember Joe's talking about this, I know we always refer to Joe in these reviews, but, like, Joe was, was mentioning, like, there's, like, you don't really know who's with who, they're constantly talking about, like, different, like, storylines like that that you're supposed to have, like, learned through YouTube videos and stuff before the movie, when it's really not, it shouldn't no. even be about that, it should be about a group of people that's in, that's in space, dealing with an alien, you're working together to, to take out the alien, and I'm not, I'm not saying that you know, like, a 20 minute back, backstory for each one of them, because that's not what they did in this movie, but they, I feel like you knew who each person was like i can i can picture like almost all of them in my head right now just yeah. because like they i don't know I, they, they just did a lot better than, than the last one did and honestly every single one after it maybe aliens I, I need to see it again to really know more about it but in my opinion I, I like this one more than aliens so that was our quick review of alien which was our second addition to the halloween series and we have i think we have at least two, three more coming up was it the third one well i mean if you count the horror films yeah it's the second movie review done. this is the second movie review in the, in the halloween series and we definitely have a few more coming up so stay tuned for that. I mean, maybe another uh, horror horror film reaction coming up soon. Hopefully, that's not a ridiculous short film. Yeah, no. Hopefully, we'll be reacting to one of those this week. I'll hopefully have a versus video out next week, and then I hope we'll be reviewing Signs next week, possibly. But there's there, there's a ton of great Halloween movies we haven't reviewed yet. So so get ready for a light bulb will be broken in that review. So thank you for watching our review of, of thanks for watching our review of Alien, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>